So there are a couple of items that I like to leave out throughout the year that just remind me of Halloween. And one of them is my Dedgar Allan Poe right over here. I've actually kind of created a little scene in my library using my Dedgar here and some other raven things that I'm going to show you here in a moment. I think it's just kind of fun. You know, he is an author, so it fits very well in my library theme. So nobody can really fault me for that. And I can have my little Halloween fix throughout the year. But he appeared at the at home or not, sorry, not the at home store, the home goods store a couple of years ago. He started um, appearing in one of my forum threads that I read. Everybody was kind of going crazy over him trying to find him. And there were people like begging other people to ship them to him and where are the sightings of him. And I don't know why everyone thought he was pretty cool, but I had to have him too, because honestly, I guess I kind of think he's cool too. So I thought we'd take a look at him real quick. Um, again, he is a bust. He's pretty heavy. He retailed for $34.99, which is a bit pricey. But when you see what he does, maybe you'll know why. Let's just go ahead and flip him on here. Bam. <laughs> That's all he does. It's a little disappointing. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I can't stand the light up eyes. So I don't think I've ever used him in this function. But, uh... You know, he also has some other attributes, I guess, that make him kind of cool. You know, he's made to look dead. Um, he's got some uh, Frankenstein-esque scars up here and some vampire fangs. So it's a little schizophrenic going on. And he sits on a stack of books, which oddly enough are, you know, not the spines. If you want to actually see the titles, you know, you have to turn them around. So that's kind of a wasted opportunity um, in this product design. But the books here read, you know, there's the Telltale Heart, Annabelle Lee, The Haunted Palace, and The Raven, which are all, you know, Edgar Allan Poe. Or Edgar Allan Poe. Um, so again, I think he's kind of cool. I like him. And because of that, you know, I picked up a few other things that I want to show you. Um, you know, I also got this little two-tier candelabra here. It's got a little, I don't know what kind of bird this is. I'm going to call it a raven because why not? And I just stuck a couple of these dollar store flicker candles in there. Actually, what I usually like to do with these candles is I will take another red wax candle and drip down on the sides of the candle so it looks like it's bleeding. I do that on almost all of them. I don't know why I never did it with this. I guess just keep it a little bit classy when I leave it out year round. You know, as classy as you can get with Dead Girl over here. But I got this also at the Home Goods store. Um, it looks like I, he was $12.99, so... Not too bad on him. I also got this one, um, which is just more of a statue. He came from Marshalls. I think he was probably around the same price, uh, but no candles with him. And then lastly, what I really wanted to show you that I think is awesome is my poster over here. This was actually a free printable that I found on a website called itsalwaysautumn.com. And I think she you know, created this back in 2013. I don't remember when I actually printed it out. It was probably 2014. But, you know, it's the whole um, The Raven, the Nevermore poem with some interesting graphics here. And I think it's pretty awesome. She actually offers it in two different versions. There's the black as I printed it out and a white version. And then I just stuck it in a, you know, frame from Michael's. The frame, I think, was like $15.00. Um, it might have even been on sale for half price or something. It wasn't very expensive at all. But it's just a simple two by three frame. And the printout itself, actually, I just sent to Staples. And she actually recommended this on her website. You know, it's always on them. Um, you send it to Staples as, I think it was either an engineering print or an architectural drawing, one or the other. And it only costs like a couple bucks to print out. I think with tax, it was like less than $4, which stuns me because it looks... So nice and professional. Now, that's not really the right way to do it. And I kind of got a little chastised by the cashier when I did it because her manager happened to be in the store. I mean, she didn't care you know, that she was doing it. But, you know, I guess the manager was like, this needs to be printed out as, you know, one of their art art prints or, or whatever that's like 30 bucks or so to print something like that out instead of the couple bucks. Because it's only, you know, black and white, even though with the black it's pretty black heavy so 
I do feel a little bad in that sense. It probably used quite a bit of toner, but you know, that's not my, not my problem. If they didn't want to do it, they could have always, you know, called me or just not done it. But you know, if the website lets me do it, the website lets you do it, why not? Um, but again, I think he's, that printout is just fantastic. And I highly recommend it if you're looking to do a similar Edgar Allan Poe slash literary slash Edgar Allan Poe theme. And you know, with the poster, you know, that fits in my library too. I'll show you a picture of what I do at the end of this video. But you know, I also can shift these things around. So I'll leave it in the library year round, but like for Halloween, depending on where I wanna put things, cause I never like to do the same display you know, two years in a row. You know, sometimes I put it in the library, or I'm sorry, the foyer um, or the living room or downstairs. So, you know, with the poster, you can swap them out too. Like my foyer is pretty much like, like I said, I like to kind of shift it around a little bit, but it's always the same basic elements. And one of them is a big picture or poster. You know, I have like this, which I can use with my literary theme, or, you know, a little, I have a black cat one that I can do with my witch theme. Um, I think actually that might be just the black cat and, and this one that I've done so far, but um, you know, it's, it's always having those elements that are easy to swap out. So I, I have a basic design and it's just a matter of how I merchandise it. Anyway, um, so that was just quickly, I wanted to give you that tip about the printout there and show you what I've done with this. I've got a few more things on the books um, that I wanna show you. So hopefully you'll stick around for those. If so, give my channel a subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you around then, I guess. So happy haunting everyone, take care.